Yo, what's good, everybody? It's me, Don Weeb here, back with part nine for What If Naruto Had Ultra Instinct. If you guys have not already, make sure you hit the like button, comment down below what you thought, and subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any friends who like to watch anime, feel free to share any of my videos with them as well if they might be interested. That really helped the channel out a lot. We are almost to 8,000 subscribers. The goal for this year, which I didn't even know I'd be getting this far, was to try and get to 10,000 subscribers. We are 2,000 subscribers away from our goal almost. So the more that we can get up there, the better. That goal for 2020 was to hit 10K, and I'll probably be doing a 10K special as well. I'll be doing, so these are the things that I've mentioned in previous videos I'll be doing. I'll be doing a 10K special video, which will be, what if I was in Naruto, which is my OC, which you guys can see now on screen currently. That's my original character. I'll be actually going into detail and writing like an, basically a fan fiction kind of uh in the naruto universe of my backstory and things like that so that'll be fun and um also other than that i'll probably be doing a face reveal because i want to do face cam videos and because my second channel will be really convenient because a lot of the stuff i do would be funnier if you could see my reactions otherwise it's just me sitting here in the microphone playing a game and being like <laughs> so yeah, sorry that was cringy. Anyway, let's just get right into it. Sorry for all the talking. Here we go. I know you guys have been waiting for two weeks. Let's just get right into part nine for What If Naruto Had Ultra Instinct. As you all know from a few parts ago, Naruto had actually accessed Ultra Instinct and completely almost wiped out the Sound Village as he battled and mastered Ultra Instinct against Orochimaru Kabuto and all of his cronies. As Naruto had basically single-handedly taken out Orochimaru during that fight, Orochimaru and Kabuto would have been one of the only few people to survive as they escaped from the river pulling them downstream with it while they were unconscious. Anyway, back to the present. Naruto, as well as Sakura and Sasuke, would have received the information from Sasori before he had passed on to the next world about his spy who was still working for Orochimaru, who had been working on rebuilding the Sound Village over the past three years. Anyway, Sasuke is pretty ticked off at Orochimaru, so this information would get to him as he tells Naruto that he's going to be the one to take Orochimaru out to prove that he's gotten stronger than him and that he didn't need to go there. Naruto would understand this, as when they get back, he would tell Sasuke he'll leave it to him, putting his trust into his friend. Anyway, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura would be on probation for a few days, after they had caused some serious damage to the Akatsuki, as well as helped the Sand Village out, so they were given a, some rest time, basically. Anyway, after that week or two was up, the whole of Team 7 was pretty much ready to go. However, because of the touchiness of this subject of Orochimaru, Danzo would also want to be sending someone for his side in. This is where we would get Sai coming in to assist Danzo with his plans of meeting up with Orochimaru to exchange their research. Tsunade would send with Yamato to watch Sai, as well as him and Kakashi together would be watching over that. So this would be a six-man team, really, with two squads of Kakashi, Yamato, Naruto, and Sasuke, Sakura, and Sai. Naruto would be included with Kakashi as well as uh, uh, as well as Yamato because Naruto at this point is above, like, almost above Sanin level as he beat Orochimaru and several hundred other ninjas. So Naruto's level is higher than most of the Akatsuki, actually. So Naruto's become pretty famous in the ninja world already just because he's known as, like, the White Flash, which is kind of funny because his father was the Yellow Flash, and it's because of his teleportation and speed of Ultra Instinct. Anyway, Naruto's reputation would put him on the team with Yamato and Kakashi, while Sai and Sasuke and Sakura would be on the other team, who would probably be going in to watch from the sidelines. Anyway, as the six of them are getting ready to go, Naruto would be introduced to Sai for the first time. As Sai would see him, Shikamaru, as well as Choji and Sasuke walking around town, going out to get something to eat. He would do the same thing he'd do in the original by testing them with his puppets of his ink, with Sasuke easily taking them out with his Kusanagi blade, slicing through them like paper, which they are. Naruto would easily pin him, as Naruto uses his wave tracking of air motions and points directly to Sai, saying he's got this. Naruto began walking towards Sai, as Sasuke would also cautiously approach from behind Naruto with his Kusanagi blade out, wondering if this is a friend or foe. 
As Naruto just walks towards Sai, Sai would create a few more tigers as well as other animals as they rush towards Naruto. Naruto uses a single hand as he slices with chops, cutting them all and turning them back into ink, splattering at his feet. As he walks up to Sai, he asks what was that all about, with Sai telling him he was just testing him, as he thinks that Lord Danzo had instructed him that Naruto is extremely dangerous. Naruto would sigh as he asks who this who he is. So he wouldn't be really frustrated as, like I said before, Naruto's a lot more calm and analytical in this timeline, just because of certain events in his past. So him and Sai are actually very similar. Sai would respond with his cold, empty tone, but Naruto would completely understand him as he tells him he gets what he's saying. Sai and Naruto would actually be more close to being friends more easily, as Naruto actually understands what it's like to not feel any emotions and to have to pretend to be like that. So Sai and Naruto have a very interesting connection, I think, in this timeline. Anyhow, they would part ways as Naruto says it was nice to meet him, with Sai nodding as well, feeling something weird when he talked to Naruto. He wouldn't quite know what it quite was, but we would know that it was something called companionship or friendship even. Anyway, the next day would pass by, as now they would be meeting together to get onto the team that would be going to meet the assailant that they'd be trying to catch down from Sasori's spy. Anyway, as they go, they'd meet up at the gate with Yamato, Kakashi, and Naruto being Team A, and Sakura, Sasuke, and Sai being Team B. Sasuke obviously wouldn't be pleased with the fact that he was placed on Team B, as he considers him and Naruto to be equals, is what he wants to think at least. Anyway, Sasuke would eventually accept it after Naruto tries to convince him, telling him that this will mean he'll be closer to Orochimaru, which will be his target. Naruto would be wondering actually how Orochimaru would be doing, not in a concerned way or sympathy or anything, but he's wondering how he survived his attacks, as he has little memory of what had happened after he had secured Sasuke at the Valley of the End, but he had basically lost all memory of that time when he was just fighting and fighting and fighting, as he had gone fully into instinct. Anyway, Naruto didn't know if Orochimaru had any serious bodily injuries or if he had to switch bodies again or anything, so he didn't know if what he would look like. Anyway, the teams would head out as they'd each go and set on opposite directions of the sides as they'd take different ways to get there. During the separation, Kakashi and Yanto would be split up on two teams, with Kakashi going along with Naruto and Sai, while Sasuke and Sakura would be on a team with Yamato. Sai and Naruto would talk for a little bit on their way to, with Sai asking Naruto, with Naruto asking Sai different questions about each other. Sai would eventually open up about his brother, and Naruto would see the pictures that he'd painted as well, t complimenting Sai on his artwork, as he asked if he could try. Naruto's artwork wasn't exactly great, but it wasn't terrible either, as Naruto, when he was younger, did a lot of more creative things and artistic things to express himself, as he was terrible with words for one and while he his emotions were always locked inside of him due to ultra instincts complete hold on him as a kid naruto would tell sai about his childhood and how everyone in the village had looked down on him because he was the freak the kid with white hair as he would tell them about this he would tell sai about how he felt about it but he couldn't say anything so i would sit there asking what he means with naruto explaining how he had felt before and the emptiness that he had inside him Sai would be actually surprised by this, as he tells Naruto that he's always felt like that all the time. Naruto breathes out in exasperation, as he tells Sai that <sighs> that's not how you're supposed to feel all the time. Emotions are like a rampaging torrent of waves, always changing, being pulled in different directions by the moon or the sun. As he tells Sai this, he feels oddly poetic, as he then snaps out of it, telling him that he doesn't know too much about that as well, though. And he tells Sai to just do his own thing. Sai would consider Naruto's words, as he then nods, thinking through them. He would tell Naruto to consider what he says, as then the journey would continue as Kakashi and then would move on. After a few days of travel, they would eventually rank it to the outskirts of the grass village, where they'd be waiting for the spy from Sasori. Yamato, who is Woodstyle, would create the puppet body, as he would then use a transformation jutsu, telling Naruto to stay in the shadows nearby in case there needs to be an extraction, which made sense strategically, as Naruto has the fastest speed among all of them. Naruto would then move to the other side of the river across the bridge, as he sits in a tree, concealing his presence, as he waits in the leaves, looking down at the bridge, as suddenly someone begins to approach. Yamato, it's about to start, he would think as Yamato began huddling out in his transformation form into Sasori's puppet body. We would see a figure in a cloak, little would we know would be Kawato, as Kawato begins to whisper to Sasori the details that he needed. However, suddenly, Kawato would reveal his cloak as he throws it off himself and then uses his chakra slicer, trying to slice Sasori in half. 
Yamato would be shocked by this, as he doesn't think that his transformation has any flaws, with him jumping back and returning back to Yamato's form. There's no way that Sasori's true form, Kaoto would think. What? This is what he would think, with Yamato being surprised. He would turn to Naruto, as Naruto blitzes out of the tree, jumping at full force, the tree actually shaking as Naruto uses his full leg strength. As Naruto shoots it towards the bridge, grabbing Yamato and throwing him to the other side, across the other side of the valley of the bridge, he would land on the side with Yamato, the Iron Kaoto. Kaoto would look at Naruto in shock as he feels PTSD shake through his body. Naruto would stare at him with rage as he then looks up, telling Sasuke to go. Sasuke would take this opportunity to release all of his anger at Orochimaru as well as Kabuto to prove that he's stronger than them. Suddenly, the Kusanagi blade would rip open as a slice of silver would cut clean through the air, as a shine of silver would slice through it as he slashes at Kabuto, Kabuto falling over as he feels blood on his stomach. <coughs> Kabuto would begin to choke on his own blood as Sasuke would turn about to finish him off. This is when we suddenly see a ginormous snake crash into Sasuke from Orochimaru. As Orochimaru stands there, Sasuke, oh, I had been waiting for you for some time. However, it appears you lost to that boy, he would think, as he stares at Naruto, his bones beginning to feel rage, as his hands begin to grit themselves, ringing together as he begins to grind his teeth against each other. Naruto Uzumaki, he would think. As he had been humiliated by a genin, a 12-year-old had beat him in battle, along with his entire army. If anyone's going to kill him, it's going to be me, Orochimaru would be thinking, as he's never been so angry at a single person his entire life. Naruto would not even flinch at the amount of malice coming at him, as he tells Orochimaru that it's Sasuke's turn to prove himself, and if Orochimaru survives the fight, then he'll take care of him and finish off him, his miserable life afterwards, which is what he should have done at the Valley of the End anyway. Orochimaru would spat, as Sasuke then slices towards Orochimaru. You think Sasuke can beat me? He could have if he'd come to train with me and become more powerful, but in this weak form, there's no way he could. This is when suddenly, Sasuke would then slice, telling him to shut up, cutting into Orochimaru's neck, as Orochimaru would use his snake abilities to shed his own skin and go back into another form. We could have been master and teacher, Sasuke, he would say. Shut up! Sasuke would say as he slices again with five more chops, with him getting faster and faster every, after each swipe. Sasuke would activate his three Tomoe Sharingan, tracking Orochimaru better, as he throws a blade cut down, with now Orochimaru using his arm and transforming it into a snake, wrapping it around the blade and cutting it and ripping it away from Sasuke's arm. As the blade's thrown into the grass, Sasuke engages into hand-to-hand -hand combat, with Orochimaru and Sasuke faring pretty equal to each other. Kaoto would try to get up, but the moment he tries to intervene in the fight, Naruto's hand would be towards right next to his neck, telling Kaoto that if he doesn't want to die, then he shouldn't move a single muscle. Kaoto would stand stock still, as he has nothing he can do while he sees that Naruto is there. He would think, what can I do? There's no way I can get any help in time. We don't have anyone who can take Naruto and Sasuke down together, he would think, as he's calculating things in his mind that he could do. As Orochimaru and Sasuke's fight's going on, it is pretty apparent that Orochimaru's stamina has taken a severe dip after his fight with Naruto, as he's beginning to breathe heavily from all of Sasuke's ferocious attacks, as Sasuke is continuing to pelt him with his own kicks and punches, with him eventually beginning to use Jutsu. Flame style! Majestic Destroyer Flame Jutsu! As he creates a magnificent flame of wall of flame, Sasuke's burst of flame would go flying towards Orochimaru like a dragon. As the flame begins to pierce into Orochimaru, Orochimaru would begin to feel his skin burning. <sighs> he would try to shield it by creating his walls by using the summoning of the seven walls he used against Naruto when he went into Four Tails mode in the original. However, it was too late by then as Orochimaru's body is beginning to get scarred from the flames. You've gotten better, Sasuke, he'd think. Sasuke would tell him to shut up as he's just here to die. As Sasuke then creates, he uses his masterful of his ultimate jutsu, the jutsu he'd used to kill Itachi. Naruto would smile, he says he's pulling it out now. As he looks at Sasuke about to use his ability, Sasuke would then summon the storm clouds. As the clouds begin to come in, Sasuke would then create the hand seals to create it. You see that, Kaoto? Naruto would ask. What? There's clouds rolling in? This is Sasuke's ultimate technique. The dragon of lightning. Kiram. As Sasuke says this, a lightning dragon would come crashing down from the sky and slam into Orochimaru, as Orochimaru begins to feel pain arc across his entire body. No, not like... He would look at Kaoto's in shock as he's about to die. Orochimaru, with the last of his strength, would create one more clone of himself, which rushes towards Naruto. Naruto would be shocked, as he didn't think that with the last of his chakra he'd try to not defend himself, but instead go to him. 
As Naruto prepares to attack, counter this attack, he would jump out of the way, but instead of going towards Naruto and fulfilling the hatred of malice that he can sense from it, he grab, the clone grabs Kalito and jumps off the bridge into the water below. Naruto is about to go after them when Kalito, as well as Orochimaru's clone, would escape. The clone would disappear, however, as or original or Orochimaru would actually die from the Kirim, as his body falls to the ground completely lifeless. Sasuke has ended the demon that had been invading his life for the past three years. Naruto would be proud of Sasuke, as Sasuke is breathing heavily, having used a lot of his chakra and killing Orochimaru, with now Kawato having escaped, however. With Kawato escaped, that means that some of Orochimaru's research would have lived on, but Sai would have failed his opportunity to actually get in on his mission to contact Orochimaru, as Naruto and Sasuke had finished him off way quicker than he would have imagined they would have been able to. Sasuke and Naruto would then head back, with Yamato and Kakashi being extremely impressed with their combat skills. Naruto had watched Sasuke the whole time, and was telling him he did an amazing job, telling Sasuke to look how much stronger he's gotten. If you beat Orochimaru that easily, think about what you can do against Itachi now, he would say. As he remembers Itachi from when he had tried to use Kasa Genjutsu on Naruto, and Naruto's automatic detection of his Ultra Instinct had reflected the Genjutsu back at Itachi which is a unique ability of Ultra Instinct that I added in this, which I thought was pretty cool. Anyway, Itachi should still be damaged from his own infinite Mangekyo from those years ago, as he wasn't doing so well even back then, Naruto would think. Sasuke, there's, there's no way that you can't be Itachi now. Sasuke would be very happy as Naruto says this, with him telling asking Naruto if he really thinks that. Do you really think that I can beat him? He would ask, with not exactly sure confidence in his voice. Naruto would nod very fast, telling him there's no way he can't. As Sasuke feels happy, the teams would begin to head back, with Sai feeling unfulfilled from his mission. Anyway, Orochimaru has now been taken down and, t and killed, so he'd have to report that back to Danzo. Naruto would see as Sakura finally appears out of the woodwork, finally counting in after six days of being silent as a rock, not having done a single thing like usual. So, Sasuke, where, where, how did you learn about that... How did you learn how to create that dragon, Sakura would ask, blushing, with Sasuke basically just answering the question with no interest at all in her or what she was asking. Oh, when I was training with Naruto and Jiraiya-sensei, Jiraiya was helping me learn more about nature transformation, while Naruto was working more on his chakra control on how to create his Rasengan wall. Naruto would laugh as he says that he could have used that against today and show off a little, but he decided to let Sasuke use his move. Naruto's Rasengan wall is basically where he uses lines of chakra from the puppeteer type jutsu, but instead of using them to control a, a puppet, he actually connects multiple Rasengan to create walls of Rasengans, which he can manipulate at will like a wave. He uses it to trap opponents as well as create massive explosions and such, like what he did against Orochimaru back in the Valley of the End. Anyhow, everyone's now made it back to the Leaf Village, with them having successfully defeated Orochimaru and learned about the information they had needed to about his research that they wanted. So, that ends the arc for where they have originally met Sasuke up with in the original. Back now at the Leaf Village, something new would be brewing, as two more members of the Akatsuki would be deciding on their attack to try and receive and take the Nine Tails. If you guys want to see Kakuzu and Hina, come in and try and claim the Nine Tails as well as battle against the Leaf Village Shinobi. Then make sure you hit the like button, comment down below what you thought of this video, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this to come. I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.